In this video I am going to show you some basic usage of the Photoshop crop tool. First, to access your crop tool, you can either go to your tools bar or by pressing C on your keyboard. Make sure that there is no active text using type tools in your document, otherwise it will just write the letter C. In the newer versions of Photoshop, the default is the new crop tool. To access the classic mode, click the small gear icon in your options bar. From there, you can see the use classic mode check box or you can simply press the letter P on your keyboard. Let us use the new crop tool. Upon selecting the crop tool, you will notice that the crop border is automatically enabled around your image. To remove that, just double click on your image. If you want to select the whole document again, click on any part of your image. And if you want to select a part of the image, just click and drag. One of the differences between the classic crop tool and the new crop tool is that, when you click and hold inside the crop area, you can freely move the image while the crop border stays in place. In the classic mode, you can move the crop border around the image. By default, Photoshop always shows the overlay. Those are the thin lines inside your crop area. You may change the settings by pressing the set the overlay options for the crop tool. The default is always show overlay. Let us try the auto show overlay. This means that the overlay will only show when you resize the crop border. It is very handy since you can clearly see which part of the image you may want to show. And there is never show overlay where the overlay is hidden whether you resize the crop border or not. The downside to this is that it is difficult to see the center of your cropped image. And then there is show cropped area. To access that, click on the small gear icon under the use classic mode. You will see the show cropped area, or you can just press H on your keyboard. This option is very useful because it will give you the option to see the entire image while selecting which part of the image you want to crop. If we disable the show cropped area, it will be difficult to crop the image, especially if you are targeting a specific part of the image. Under that, there is Auto Center Preview. For better viewing of Auto Center Preview, let us disable the show cropped area for now. As you can see, you can drag your crop border any way you like, but it will stay in the middle of your document. If we disable that and you crop your image going to the left, the crop border will stay on the left. Next are the keyboard options to lock the aspect ratio. To lock the aspect ratio of your image, you may hold the shift key while dragging the corner part of your crop border. To lock the aspect ratio but you want to make the crop border adjust to the center of your image, hold the shift and alt keys while dragging the corner part of your crop border. If you want to resize the crop border to the center of the image, press and hold alt and drag the side crop handle. And last, let's say you want to crop by 16 by 9 and you want to change the orientation. You may simply click on the intersecting arrow in the middle of the number fields, or you can simply press X on your keyboard. From there, you can easily swap from portrait to landscape and vice versa. Once you are done, you may simply click the check icon. Double click in the middle of your crop area or by pressing ENTER on your keyboard. That's it. Some common ways to use the crop tool. If you have any suggestions, comments, or ideas, please feel free to write them in the description below. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. See you on the next video and thank you for watching.